How's it guys? It's Dark Soul USA. We're back with more Pokemon Yellow, and this one we're going to take on this one. This part we're going to go ahead and take on uh, Lieutenant Surge and see where the rest of the wind carries us. The rest of the wind? Uh, air current. The uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and shut up and fight him right now. <laughs> There's actually something I really wanted to say before this. Didn't you just save? Anyways, I really wanted to say right before this a certain saying, but I suppose it's we're not, not going through with that, Eric. Yeah, no. <laughs> it has something to do with America, let's put it that way. Those of you who are old enough to know, will know. <laughs> or you won't. Well, He's anyway, just, just as the rest of this... That face. That face. That hair. <laughs> anyway, just as the rest of the um, game... Do you have Guile's theme? What's this? Do you have Guile's theme? Um, copyright. I don't want to... Oh, shit. I don't want to yeah. push, oh, I mean, push it so long. Uh, <laughs> anyway, no. Don't you... You watch Brain Scratch comms. Guile's theme is... Um, is uh, Electrode's theme. He has Sonic Boom. Surge doesn't use Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom isn't. Sonic Boom isn't Gal's theme. No, it's his move. Oh yeah. But that's but Lieutenant Surge doesn't. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um, just like everything else mirroring the anime, Lieutenant Surge just has the Raichu, but because he has just one Pokemon, it's pretty high leveled normally. And we have Brandon, who is thankfully a Ground type move. A ground type move. <laughs> His whole Pokemon's a ground type move. He's a ground type Pokemon. I am actually going to go ahead and use something, um, just simply Water Gun. Wise is not nearly meant to take him out. It's meant to soften him up a little bit. So, yeah, Raichu comes in with Thunderbolt, which you can't use on us because being ground type we're immune. Mega Punch, which even Pikachu can learn. That's actually kind of funny. I can always imagine Pikachu with, like, boxing gloves. <laughs> I imagine Pikachu punching with that little hand. Yes. <laughs> actually, he's done that a little before in the anime. He has, like, this. Oh, wow. He used it. Wow, he actually used it. The AI is technically supposed to go for the move that's most effective. Which means you can trap it sometimes. Which means you can trap the AI, so it will just blatantly use attacks that do nothing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and body slam him. But every so often, does something odd. Like that. Yeah, this, this fight's really a joke. It wasn't even worth that much. Wow, Starmie was worth 900 some odd. <laughs> that's because Starmie's really damn hard. Yeah, that's because Starmie's actually worth it. Hey, you're the real deal, kid. You're not even worth your reading your... Uh, let's be honest. Gen 1, you didn't play these games for their story, really. You played them because they were fun. To play. I to still read. don't play them for their story. <laughs> <laughs> but I still feel it is prudent to cover uh, this sort of thing because, well, it, it's just fun. <laughs> I know where I said we work on story in this um, this uh, channel, but you know we're still just working our way up there. We're going to talk about the story that surrounds the game mechanics. In this case, we're talking more about how this relates to... <laughs> no? There you go. And in this case, we're talking about how the uh, game relates to any kind of story in link with the anime. Which was kind of an unfortunate thing. I mean, because... Um, I don't know if you paid attention, but when we were talking about um, Team Rocket, they weren't exactly... You know, they kind of feel like they were just plugged in at the last minute. Or like they were just really, you know, glazing over. Because I know that there's a continuity... This game there. feels like a giant plug. Yeah, well, I know. They did start a trend of having two separate versions and then having one sort of, like, combo, which is kind of broken in Gen 5 by Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, direct sequels instead of, like, the gray that so many people were expecting as a result of this, like, breaking this tradition going in there. But anyway, we go over here to uh, Officer Jenny. She will give us the Squirtle now that we seem to be a worthwhile trainer and no. defeating... Um, why would I say no to the Squirtle? Because it's a Squirtle. No, it's not. It is a Squirtle. It's you! No, don't you do this. Don't make me Squirtle. I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> yes, our water-type Pokemon is, in fact, Eric. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> well, I was gonna get the Abra, but that's just... broken all in all... I wanted to be Abra! <laughs> you're, gonna be, you're gonna be Squirtle right now, you're gonna like it. No? Yes? Teach me rest. That's what I usually do. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, okay. Here's Bubble Beam. So I'm going to go ahead and give him Bubble Beam now. You know, we can learn it a little bit later. But hey, you know, we got our second party member already. And that's awesome. What Bubble Beam I've ever done was when I drank too much. <laughs> Alright. So, now that we have um, Squirtle in hand... We're gonna go ahead and do the very same thing we were doing with all the other uh, Pokemon that we need to get off the ground. Oh, good. I'm being blinded. Well, we're coming in at level 10. 
Level 20 Butterfree, that's actually kind of difficult for me. Oh, good for you. Use Paralyzed Powder. Use Paralyzed... Oh. Oh, ah, Supersonic. Ah, I'm ah. confused. I love I that little... I have a 50-50 chance of hitting myself, and when a Pokemon that is confused attacks themselves, they attack themselves with the following stats. A normal move at 40 strength. So it's not really all that bad, but when you think about it, even though it's a small bit of damage on you, it's still taking up your turn. <laughs> yeah, that's the real problem. I grew to level 11. Yes, um... In five more levels, I'll be useful. Your special Ish. stat's mediocre, but that's fine. We'll work with it. I've always been just a little bit special. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, going through all these trainers I intentionally skipped because we want the experience for, um, a little bit for, for Brandon and mostly for Eric. You know what? This Cubone is pure uh, ground type, so I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna die. No, you're not. Why is it flash? I have no idea. But I do that like did the sound nothing. Effect. It did do much. But... All he cares to use apparently is growl, so. Or headbutt. I'm dead. <laughs> you ass. Um. No. I would use. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I would use Bubble Beam, but I swear that's gonna just result in another one HP. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna use Bone Club. Oh, if you're wondering why that was super effective, Bone Club is part ground. And even though, um... Even though Brandon is part ground as well, he's part poison. And being part ground doesn't save him from his own type, so unfortunately, yeah. Goes and strangely enough, dragons are weak to dragons, because that makes sense. Yeah, I guess they just didn't want one type to be weak against it. Because, as it is, any dragon type, at least for a couple of generations, and arguably even still, are just generally good, period. Their stat spread is just really awesome. It's above average. And psychics are decent still. Um, they're okay. They get nerfed at least once in a generation. generation. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. From where they started off at god tier, they're now decent. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Weeping Bell. <laughs> huh. Body Slam is 80 You deserve that for doing that to me. <laughs> I didn't do it to you, I'm just dangling you out there in the face of danger, then taking you in at the last minute and throwing out a very capable... Making me a squirtle. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you stop it. I'm a squirtle. I never... I used a starter once You're and I hated it. You're the badass him. squirtle. The only one with the shades. With attitude. What's wrong with that? Look, he's not common, that doesn't count. Okay, fine. Why did I throw Charmander out there? Because you're not Charmander, do something. Oh, this will be fun. Grow! Grow! Cut! Wow, did not do a lot. That's a dick, my god. Scratch! Dick. He's not doing much either, I mean, it's a freaking Caterpie. Okay, seriously. Um, You're being almost matched by a Caterpie that's mostly wasting its turn. I seriously don't want Charmander to get any experience. <laughs> Canopy, what's wrong with you? You're so pathetic! Beat me already! That sounds like the start of a certain psychological problem. Oh gosh, nothing happened. Yeah, it looks like last time. Wait! Oh! Needless critical is needless. I love doing that. Well, good thing Charmander got some experience. He'll be, he'll be needing that for all the zero fights we'll be in. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping it would poison you. Um, poison Pokemon cannot be poisoned. Oh yeah, you're poisoned. Yes. <laughs> I forget that every time I look at Nido King. <laughs> but he's not like he's purple! That doesn't mean anything. Hater. Hater? Hater. I'm being non-discriminatory. How's that a he's hater? He's purple! You think it was me? And you're discriminating. You're not, you're not, you don't I'm have not. to- I'm not! I'm classifying! You are discriminating! I'm just saying because he's- how am I discriminating? I don't want to hear it! Because he's purple uh, doesn't mean he's poison. Nope. Is that person looking nope. at a Pokeball? What's that? Is that person looking at- Oh, you get a bike now! I do get a bike now. Oh, if you look at the price of the bike, is What was it? A hundred million dollars? Um, unfortunately we can't look at that because I'll immediately hand him the bike- the bike voucher. Oh, uh, well the bike is ridiculously expensive, more than you can ever actually buy. A shiny new bike. Yes, actually, even if you do happen to get, like, a bunch of nuggets and sell them all, the maximum amount you can carry is... 999,000 Poké Dollars and such. This one's cost a million Poké Dollars at least. You cannot carry that much. Cheap as heck. <laughs> so it makes, you, it makes you wonder... 
Does anyone have a car in this universe? And if they do, are they just obscenely wealthy? Cars do not show up until Gen 5. Are those people obscenely wealthy? Well, you don't know if the truck counts. <laughs> anyway, this is not a Pokeball. It's an electrode. This is an electrode. And it's loafing around. And it's loafing around. How confusing. How oh, weird. Um, let's also, see. that's pretty... that's a... Well... We're never, eating, we're never eating Bulbasaur, but that's really okay because I don't even like that thing. Now but that we have cut, we're gonna do something slightly unexpected. Wow, that was a garbled sound bite. Yes, it was. We are gonna get Pikachu out. Why? Because I need Pikachu's ability to use electrical moves. Which is funny because the HM we're gonna get has. It's a considered a normal move, it's not considered a electric move. But yeah, unfortunately, through that guy's ransacked house and the hole in the wall, it's the only way we can get across to him. So anyway, now that we have Pikachu... And you know, I want to get the bike just in case I might need to use it again, because as it is, I need to go back and get the town map. When you get that, you can fly, so it's not an issue. Mm, say what? Just get the town map, we can fly, you don't need the bike for it. I suppose. Anyway. When you fly, you fly in front of your house or something, right? Oh yeah, you're talking about the need for the bike. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You um, probably don't need the bike ever. Probably not. I mean, anyway. you have you have speeded gameplay, so who cares? Right now, we're going to go ahead and go through... Um, this part over here is going to be another training segment. So, I suppose since I have another commentator to actually make things less, uh, less um, monotone or boring... Which is funny because I'm kind of monotone. Uh, well, I mean, less boring. I, I changed my mind. I corrected myself. We're just gonna go ahead and just rush through here and get um, Eric some more experience that he needs. I expect you to be a level early 20s war turtle by the time we're done with this. You're being quiet on purpose. <laughs> He's smiling, jerk. <laughs> The only thing I can say is, Atkins is the least creatively named Pokemon I can think of. I mean, That's really, Snake. That's Arbok, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least Arbok's trying. I'm pretty sure Cobra's not spelled with K. Oh. But I mean, really, Snake backwards? What's next? Alucard? <laughs> hey, look, you won! I took that sand true. I feel... Nothing? <laughs> Wait, it was a sand true. Yeah. Oh, come on! This is pretty much how my whole Mount Moon went. <laughs> First turn, Zubat confuses me. You Next think five turns. Like again? Next three turns is I die because I beat myself to death. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm trying to learn Water Gun. How redundant. You don't need Tail Whip. No one needs Tail Whip. How true is that? Look, path. One of these guys is a gambler, isn't he? Or at least the two of them. The guy down here is a gambler. Yeah. Why well, do I remember that? You gonna use a super potion? Yeah. Well, anytime I use an item or a consumable, you're gonna get angry. Yes, I am. Because you actually hoarded yours. <laughs> I kept every potion I bought for the entire game. Because? Because I didn't want to use them. Exactly. Why did you not want to use them? Because they're items. Because they're useful. Oh no, it's more like I can walk t I can walk to the side just a little bit and heal myself for free. Why waste an item? Yeah, this fight will be fruitless if I just keep him out. I just need- I forgot to throw you out there. Intelligent. Intelligent. Acha. Acha. Is this supposed to be gotcha? <laughs> No, I think it was just an explanation. Okay. He's laid down some cable for what? Yeah, this guy's apparently engineer. That f oh my yeah. <laughs> god, what is this guy? You know what? It's funny, guys. A few videos ago, I was talking about how bad the sprites were for the Pokemon. <laughs> didn't look at the dang trainers. <laughs> well, keeping up with the whole child theme. That one looks like he kidnapped some of them. <laughs> god this guy. damn, what is this thing? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! No. Stop it! No, stay away from the controller! <laughs> ah You're involved now! I have a fluffy tail. Stop pressing B! <laughs> okay, there. 
Oh, I ran into another engine. That's fine. I couldn't let it be anything but Squirtle. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Looks like one of those Lego robots from Mega Man, but weirder. Even though that War Turtle apparently has like wings for ears or something like that. Yeah, I did. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is because I don't understand how that ever happened. It doesn't have them as Blastoise or Squirtle. What happened? I'll get how this. Uh, Why did it gain floof? <laughs> Why did it gain floofies in mid evolution? He has a fluffy tail, too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's floofy. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Not that stupid electric sheep, either. What's that thing called? Flappy? Flabby? Flappy, yes. Yeah. Oh, Mary is the first one. Then it becomes Flappy, then it becomes... Wait. Yeah, Mary, Flappy, then... Um, Gambler. He turns into a gambler? No, gambler. <laughs> he started off as a sheep. That that makes so much sense. Ampharos! So Ampharos! Ampharos! Okay, there. It's so meta. <laughs> Ooh, my defense fell. But look! You're done! Just like that. Oh, so sad. And now I'm level 17. I told you I wanted you to be in the early 20s. But I don't want to leave you out there with a electric Pokemon. Because he'll destroy me. Yeah, He's higher level and a better type. My first loss. Really? That's almost impressive. Escape rope! Someone hid that in a tree. I think those are trees. Or are they pushes? Oh eh, my god, like these those. sprites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love the early <laughs> late 90s. <laughs> these sprites. Look, child, Redditor. I think you can take this on. What was that one? What? <laughs> no, I can't. Put me back. <laughs> you should be faster too. He's gonna use quick attack. He's gonna <laughs> use quick attack, and I'm gonna die. Le put me back. Not a super potion. Put me back. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, that hyper effect. My God, it used. It tore off half my health again. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> I'm gonna goddamn die. This is ridiculous. Actually, he used tail whip. So. Oh wait, he speed fell. Yes, that's one of the good things about Bulbi. I don't know why that happens though. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's like wait. wait. Okay, that's the rat king. I'm switching out. <laughs> that's a bigger rat. <laughs> Nothing to Brandon. <laughs> and then he murdered it. You're level 18. Don't you feel proud now? Hey, I can vote. <laughs> hmm. And this guy's never won before. Oh, uh, I got him. I got him. Ow. I got him. <laughs> Come on. Well? I like this Pokemon. I do like Vulpix as well. Not as much as Glaceon, but... Yeah, and that's your favorite Pokemon, right? Yep. It's your absolute favorite Pokemon. <laughs> it is. I would sacrifice... ...certain people. <laughs> Why are you Glaceon. looking at me? <laughs> For a Glaceon. And? What does that have to do with you staring goals into me? <laughs> you turned me into a Squirtle. <laughs> oh gosh, you, I thought you'd like that! I mean, come on! You are the only starter. You are freaking Blastoise. Don't you like cannons coming out of your hard shell back or... Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm still wondering how that works. How yeah. do I evolve cannons? How does he, Actual yeah. metal cannons. How do you get cannons? metal in your back? <laughs> um, I could just say we're taking Pokemon too seriously again. No, it, it was, I've played these games enough that I just started thinking about other things about them. <laughs> like questioning things, which is really a mistake. <laughs> hmm. What's with these critical hits? <laughs> I'm gonna die to a Nidoran. Okay. Please let me die to a Nidoran. <laughs> Nidorino. Either. Wow, <laughs> that is weak. Because I'm part poison, I resist it. But he is part poison. <laughs> but I'm stronger. He's full poison, isn't he? Yeah, he's soul he's mono poison. And now by slam just goes. Well, What do you want? Leave me alone. Shut up. I'm just checking. 
Well, mid twenties didn't happen. Or low twenties, whatever. We're not done yet. I thought he needs a escape rope. What's that? I thought he needs a escape rope. <laughs> no. How useless. All right, this is Diglett Cave. This cave connects um, Vermilion City with uh, just outside of Pier City. So we're gonna go ahead and get some. Don't stuff. fight. I have four health. <laughs> I have four health. Don't use an item. I have four health. Well, either you're gonna fight or you're gonna use an item, which is it gonna be. Switch. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I need to catch one of these things. I need to catch either Diglett or its evolution, Dudrio. Why? Uh, because I need to have owned, or it's because I need to own ten Pokemon. You do? Yes. Um, the what? item I'm going for, HM5 Flash. Um, Professor Oak's aid is there. He will not give it to me unless I have um, uh, owned ten Pokemon. Wow, how useless! <laughs> I'm such a fool. I take it back. Um, I have seen. I do own ten Pokemon. The Pokemon that you own that evolve technically count as new Pokemon. But this Diglett is stronger than you, so it counts. So it negates the repel. <laughs> well, Diglett Cave actually has unnaturally strong D uh, Diglett and Dugdrio in here. You can actually find a level thirty some odd Dugdrio. It's a very small chance, it's like five or one percent, but you can find one of those suckers. You said Dugdrio, not Dodrio, right? Dugdrio, sorry. Yeah, okay. it's kind of funny. Doug Dugdrio is the evolution of Duduo, which you see up there on the border. <laughs> Doug Trio is the evolution of Diglett. Hey. That guy. Uh, into my menu. Charmander. Cut. Pikachu, cut! You kinda think it would. It has sharp claws. It does? Yeah. Well, I guess not sharp enough. Anyway, it's supposed I to be. I wasn't even aware it had claws. Okay, so yeah, see at least 10 kinds of Pokemon. Yes. And he will give us. And you're going to immediately use it. Now, Flash is really a mediocre move. It's one of those HMs that aren't all that great. In battle, the move, it's its so funny. It says that a whole lot of light fills the area. That, you know, it's supposed to be such a huge flash of light that, you know, it causes your opponent to, like, eyes to dilate and they can't see, right? It lowers their accuracy by one stage. Well... You would think that light filling up the entire area would actually be fairly accurate, but Flash has an accuracy of 70. <laughs> How funny can is miss? that? It can miss. And I am that's supposed to make your opponent miss can make you can actually miss more often than not. Don't you feel like an idiot for buying the antidote? No. Antidote was like, what, 200, 100 dollars, 100 fucking dollars? <laughs> you didn't need to buy it, though. They're coming from the guy who hoards all this stuff. Okay. You know what, just for that, you're not getting the health. I don't care. I don't know why I exist. <laughs> Another moonstone. moonstone. Needless moonstone is needless. How does they give you? Um, there's three moonstones in the game. They just handed the first two absurdly early? No, the first one was in Mount Moon. The second one's there. The third one I think you could find. It's a secret item. Okay, well, I'm just saying. They handed the first one kind of absurdly early, and the second one's not too far off. Hey, I don't mind that absurdly early one. It got me Nido King. Well, I think it's bad. It's like, wow. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead and get the... Chase by. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the town map. For those who are not familiar with Kento. So far, they're just following me blind, literally. It's like, okay, I trust you know where you're going. I don't really. Let's see here. Well, you should you really know. just get Fly and come back later. Fine. Fly's gonna be a little bit, honestly. I know, the town map's not important. No, I'm just trying to be considered. I'm already here, I'm getting it. I'm scared of level 3 Pidgey. How pathetic am I? Hey, it's uh, that person's sister. Yes, it's uh, this is Blue's um, sister. Oh yeah, his name is Blue. I think I called him Gary earlier. Oh, that's... <laughs> ha ha. I have too much fun. Uh -huh. Shut up. I'm gonna get rid of this moonstone. And you know what? I have no problems getting rid of this moonstone. One, because I found it. Two, because it's... You can sell it. You'll just get no money for it. Yes, the... Uh, Mark people will give you zero Poké Dollars for it. Take it off your hands. Thankfully, in later generations, they actually give you uh, 1,050 Poké Dollars for it. 
I have to say that you have no idea how much throwing where the moons don't hurt me. How many what? How much throwing where the moons don't hurt me. <laughs> I look forward to doing it every time. Okay, so this is our... This is Kento. Uh, for anyone who's like, oh great, now you finally show us. Anyway, barely Look at never. that awesome map. Also, to the left is the last area. Enjoy. Yes, um, the area over there, I can't uh, go to it yet because... Oh wait, yeah, I can. This is the map. This is the Indigo Plateau. This is where the Elite Four are, and this is where we go to fight to become champion. Strangely enough, I don't think it's purple. Uh, yeah, I don't think it is either. Anyway, there's Victory Road. This is the last challenge we have to partake before we move on. But anyway, we started here in Palatown, went on to Route 1, Viridian City, which we couldn't go anywhere beyond that, just in the forest. Route 2, the forest itself. Diggle Cave forever even appears here now. It's just because we went there. There's Peter City, we fought Brock. Route 3 and Mount Moon, fond memories. <laughs> That's where we got, uh, got Nido King. Route 4, Cerulean City, where we fought Misty, and then up here where Bill's place is, the Sea Cottage. Down over here to the routes 5 and 6, down to Vermilion City, where we got to the SSN, and now... Uh, Diglett Cave course. doesn't feel long enough to reach that. It really doesn't. <laughs> I guess it's because it's underground, it doesn't seem that way. But anyway, where we're going to be heading next is we're going to be going uh, to the east from Cerulean City, now that we have cut, going to Route 9, and we're going to be passing the Rock Tunnel. The Rock Tunnel, for whatever reason, unlike Mount Moon, is pitch black. But, it's because we have... Um, now, honestly, I can navigate Rock Tunnel because, <laughs> just because of limitation limitations of graphics, I can actually see the very edges of the wall of the cave. Some people can actually do this as well. I, I did that. To, yeah, um, but just to be uh, more courteous to viewers, I'm actually gonna use Flash. Or if you memorized it. Or if you memorized. Well, I did. <laughs> just gonna be more courteous to the viewers. Just like a, me coming getting the town map. I didn't have to at all. I know this whole place like the back of my hand. I mean, Kanto. See. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, just I know Johto better. Uh, Johto is much better because it's much bigger, and it actually includes Kento as well. <laughs> I'm just saying, I love that. I love Gen. I love Gen Two more. <laughs> what was that? That was me getting my bearings. I totally forgot. Hey, what am I doing? I just go around here. In my practice file, I already picked up the town map. Because you didn't forget to get it. Yes. Good practice there. Didn't nice. help you at all now. You want the controller? No, I'm not giving you the controller again. I could use it. I mean, what do I need to use? The punch? The punch? No, thankfully I didn't need Mega Punch as much as you thought I did. Heck, I immediately replaced it with Body Slam, didn't I? <laughs> I can use that. Okay, sir. Body Slam level 4 Pidgey. I have that picture of level 100 Hitmonlee about to murder some level 4 thing. <laughs> I think it was a rat. No, it was a Pidgey. <laughs> that is the most roid monster Hitmonlee I've ever seen. <laughs> You're such a monster yourself. Okay, so we just make our way back up to Zerly City. That's going to be the end of the part. That's my favorite texture of the entire game. What's that? Oh, the, the Underground 4? Yep. Well, anyway, finally made it back up to Surly City, taking care of any errands and loose ends that we had to. When we come back in the next part, we're going to go ahead and tackle Route 9 and hopefully, um, the Rock Tunnel. Charmander, please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much for viewing me, or viewing me, <laughs> for viewing this video. Join me for another part, me and Eric. Uh, go ahead, and if you like this part, go ahead and leave a comment in the bottom or like as well. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get notified when I upload videos, which is fairly often. And with that, we'll see you guys for part 7. America!